out of the rankings for the first time in a decade. It was October of 2000. They actually won at Colorado and dropped out. Yesterday, Garrett Gilbert making his first start in the Red River Shootout. More than 96,000 at the Cotton Bowl, Oklahoma and Texas. First series, Longhorn stop OU twice on third down only to have defensive penalties to keep a drive alive that ends up with a touchdown. Second possession, Oklahoma does drive and does score. Kenny Stills, the freshman from Landry Jones, and just like that, it's 14 to nothing. Horns get it going. They drop a new play for the speedster, DJ Monroe. Monroe taking it to the house from 64 yards, and just like that, it is once again a ball game. Texas back in it at 14 to 7. Longhorn fans in that north side of the stadium fired up, but then Jones, great fake, and wide open is James Hanna, and it's 21-7. to Oklahoma again threatening to blow it out. Longhorn's first series of the second half. Good yardage from Marquise Goodwin. You see the yellow flag again called back. Nine penalties for the Horns, and you can see a bench led by the head coach that was certainly frustrating. Not only the penalties, but the timeliness of the penalties. But Garrett Gilbert hangs in there. Strike to James Kirkendall. Texas, though, first and goal inside the 10. Can't punch it in. They do get three. And then looks like Jackson Jeffcoat causes a turnover. Horns are going to get a short field, right? Nope. Lining up in the neutral zone. That's an offside penalty. OU keeps the ball. And then DeMarco Murray goes over 100 yards, including that tightrope act. And just like that, it is 28 to 10. But Texas would keep fighting. Cody Johnson, first time we've seen him in a couple of games. He had a big catch and then a big run. And the touchdown right there. And the Longhorns are right back in it when Garrett Gilbert goes up top to Malcolm Williams. Williams with the catch. But again, they can't punch it in. So they do cut it to eight. It's 28-20. OU inexplicably doesn't put anybody back on the kick. That's a live football, but DeMarco Murray does get it in the end zone. So they get it at the 20. And here's the play Mac Brown was talking about. Landry Jones fumbles. A scoop and score. And you're a two-point conversion away from tying. And it goes out of bounds. Fans can't believe it. So Oklahoma still, though, would have to punt the ball away. And you figure they're going to have about a minute, Texas will, to try to tie it up. Instead, Aaron Williams can't make the play. And that's how it ends. The Longhorns lose to OU for just the second time in the last six years. Two years, they lost two games. Now in eight days, they have lost two games. Certainly tough for the McNeil High product on that last play, the punt. Aaron was obviously devastated, and I told him that I made mistakes throughout the day, and our entire football team did, or we wouldn't be behind by eight with uh, a minute and nine seconds left. So um, he wishes he'd caught it. He didn't. What we'll do is go back and start working to do a better job catching that ball. He's probably too cautious with it. Uh, but he did not lose the game. I mean, we could have gotten the fumble. We could not have been offsides when we got the other fumble. We could have scored instead of field goals. I mean, there's... There's countless number of things that we could have done. It's it's not one kid's fault when you lose and you play four hours. If you have some extra time this week, you can go back to every play and you can find all my mistakes and ways I could have helped the team. And uh, and I fell short on a few plays. And uh, maybe if I would have made those plays, then AJ wouldn't have been in that situation. So, I mean, it's a team game. It's never won or lost on one play. He's my family, you know. In situations where he's in, when he's down, you know, I'm always there with him. Good times and bad times. You know, I can always rely on Blake to, you know, you know, have my back or, you know, get, keep, my, keep me up when I'm down. Uh, it's, it's that kind of person that we need in, in people's lives. My RBs, my brothers, I feel like they did what they had to do, and I feel like the coaches did what they had to do. So, like I said, I'm here for the team, and whenever I go in is when I go in. It was hard fault, hard, hard loss, though. I've, I feel like we was in the game the whole entire time. So now the players will get a little bit of time off for the bye week, but the coaches will not. Here's Layla Rahimi. In the past eight days, the Longhorns have lost as many games as they have in the last two years. And on the heels of his most recent defeat, Mac Brown says it's time to evaluate. The first half of the season's over. We'll go back and regroup. Look at all the things we're doing that we like. Look at the things that need to change. And uh, coaches will do a great job in the off, season, uh, off week to pick us up. Just got to get better. And I look forward to playing again. Unfortunately, we've got to go through an off week, take your breath, and, uh, correct what you need to do with your football team and your roster, and move forward. And that's what we'll do. 
Moving forward will likely involve a look at the team's effort, which Brown says was improved compared to last week's loss to UCLA. We spent a lot of energy out of tech. We didn't spend as much as we needed to last week. We came in here and spent a lot of energy today. Uh, and we're, we're a tight team that we have to play like this to win with this energy. We didn't even play good today, but we played hard. And if we'll play hard enough, we'll be fine. And while effort cannot be measured in a statistic, players say they will use it as a building block for the rest of the season. It just came down to a couple of plays, but, you know, we fought our hearts out, and uh, we're going to keep on fighting. So that's why, you know, looking forward towards the next week is going to be another fight, another battle. Um, but that just, that's just uh, a testament to what this team did and how much we, we matured uh, throughout the season. We fought our hearts out for every play, both offense, defense, and special teams, and uh, we're all proud of that. Now the team is faced with two weeks off and time to regroup before what could be its toughest challenge of the season. They traveled to Lincoln to take on Nebraska, and that's where Mac Brown will put his streak of being undefeated the week after Oklahoma on the line. In Dallas, Layla Rahimi, KXAN, Austin News. Now, Nebraska won't have two weeks to prepare, but they will get a little extra time. They play at K-State on Thursday night before the game they have been waiting anxiously for since last year's Big 12 title game.